famous playwright called Tennessee Williams once said that when you look into the mirror, who you see in the mirror is what you'll ever be. You can either kill it, kill him, or you can either change him, or you can stop looking into the mirror. Today in our episode six of the self-awareness program, we bring to you a very interesting discussion about self-awareness. I'm the host, Levson, today with Mr. Ochor Ronald. Ronald. Nice to see you. Nice to meet you too. Yes. Thank you. Oh yeah. Uh, today, a teenager and a young adult wants to understand what self-awareness is all about. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And what does it mean to be aware of yourself? So much welcome to the show. We look forward to discussing more of this. Yes. Thank you, Levison. Um, I would want to give a quote. It's a Bible quote. Yeah. Proverbs. Uh, that is Proverbs uh, fourteen eight. That reads that uh, the wise, I think, know themselves, and then to the fully, it's, uh, it's a deceit. So when, when you look at it, the Bible tries to emphasize the point that we need to be self-aware. Now, self-awareness has various definitions. You could say it's knowing who you are and uh, what you stand for. The other aspect that is commonly known is, uh, I think it's, for me, it's a reflection of who you are introspectively and also what you live for. Now, self-awareness can be categorized in two, two, two categories. You could look at uh, conceptual. Conceptual is like what I think. What, what do I think about myself, you know? Mm. And then the embodiment is really what you actually live to be. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that's basically what I would give as self-awareness. So yeah. for, for a young person, I've been young before, I'm also still young. <laughs> <So> <laughs> you look you, young, actually. You would be looking at uh, an aspect of, uh, of what do I think about myself, yeah. not actually what people think about. Because yeah. there's what people think about you, and what do you think about yourself? For True. me, that's what I would oh, give. That's what you give. Yeah. So what does it mean to be aware of yourself? That aspect is quite confusing. Yes. Yes. What yeah. does it mean to you? Um, <clears throat> thank you. To be aware of yourself is a uh, question of being mindful. You know? Yeah. How do you, are, are you mindful about what you say, how you carry yourself, how you dress up, how you, yeah. how do you look, how, how you think, how you react? So self-awareness in terms of how do you know you're self-aware? Mm. It gets to you, are you empathetic? Mm -hmm. I, how do you listen when people are talking? You know, I tend to do more of listening than reacting. Yeah. And then, are you mindful? Do you even have time to, to you know, think of? Like, there's that time where you have to create yourself away and then reflect. Yeah. So you're reflecting of, okay, what did I say? What should mm -hmm. I have done better? Yeah. I, I, can I improve on this? Yes. So in the workplaces where most young people are actually involved in, Mm. There are two ways you can do self-awareness. There's uh, the 360 degree analysis of feedback where you get to know, okay, what, what did I say? What, what did I do wrong? What was up? So someone to be self-aware, it's someone who is always seeking out for feedback. Mm. You're self-aware when you seek out for feedback. Yeah. When you're not self-aware, you actually you do, you do something and you don't even care. Yeah, what, what, you're like, okay, what people <laughs> think true. about, that's the, the problem. <laughs> that's true. What I think about is, so you, you, you try to avoid the bias of, of your mind, mm. thinking you're always right, you can never be wrong. Mm -hmm. Whatever you say is the right thing, you, you know, no one can dispute it. Oh, yeah. Or you are, when you're given feedback. You know, feedback comes in very many forms. <laughs> mm. Some of them are actually not what we want to hear. But it's about, can we take that feedback and yeah. uh, look, look into it? It's like, okay, this person, whether they gave it in good faith or in bad faith, but the point it is, is feedback. How then do we analyze? Yeah. But also, it's, it's don't go into, in between being self-aware and then being too much self-aware. Because mm. again, when you overthink, then it gets negative. That's true. That's true. So you get to question all your actions. That's true. Yeah. When I was trying to understand or to conceptualize about what self-awareness is, I came to realize that there are two categories of self-awareness, or two okay. categories of people, mm -hmm. yes, in this line. There are those who think they are self-aware, and there are those who are really self-aware. Yes. So as you yes. deliberate on yes. that, you're going yes. to take us through yes. the negative and positive attributes of self-awareness. 
All right, all yeah. right, all right. Yeah. Let me begin with the positives. Yes. So the positive attribute of self-awareness is that uh, in your workplace or even in your where you carry yourself, you tend to have a high performance rate. Yeah. You're empathetic, uh, having a better listening uh, skill in terms of uh, when you're communicating, you tend to be quite clear. Then the aspects of understanding yourself, you tend to reflect more on what you say. Mm. Then the other aspect is you, you, are, you are not carried away by the bias. You know, you go to an environment where guys are saying, this is what, this is, this, in that family, this is it. You're not, you don't buy into it. Yeah, true. You try true. to find out why are they saying this? Mm. What could have made them think this way? So the aspect of being positively self-aware you understand what what should I have said here? What should I say? How do how do you think they'll react? And in case they react negatively, how should I then respond back? You don't look at this is what I'm standing for and this is what I, I, oh, I be. Yes. You know, right. you, you you are not you're not a person who can't bend. You can bend, but yeah. then you you understand your values. True. This is what I stand for. True. So I'm not really going to be carried away by something people say. True. Then on the negative aspect, yeah. Um, <laughs> Negative aspect of self-awareness, mm -hmm. you're, you're, you're really looking at uh, a situation where you're carried by bias and you actually lack the mindfulness. You know, mindfulness comes in a way whereby you, you can analyze your statements, you know, before even you speak it out, you first speak it to yourself mm. <laughs> and be like, mm. if someone spoke this to me, mm. what would have been my reaction? What? Yeah. You know, so you, you look through every statement you're speaking out, then you take time to listen to people. But when you're in the negative aspect of self-awareness, you really don't carry. Yeah. That's why most times when you, unfortunately I don't watch too much of TV, but when you, when you watch TV and people are debating, you find it's more of, I shoot you, you shoot me back. So the, the time for being aware of what, does what, what I'm saying, does it build? Mm. You know, when, when everything you're communicating, does it build or does it break? Yeah, true. So if it's going to break, then you really don't want to carry on with it. Then the other aspect of self-awareness that could be on the negative end is really trying to, it's more or less cognitive bias, you know? Mm. So even before someone tries to tell you something, you're already biased about what they're going oh, to yeah, say. Oh yeah, true, true. You know, so you're just biased. Whatever they say, mm. you're just biased. You don't even look into analyzing what are they saying mm. maybe it's beneficial to them or it's beneficial to me True. the other aspect is you're not uh, besides being unmindful you are looking at the aspect of uh, being carried away by a statement so instead of analyzing it for the benefit of yourself you actually go into deep analyze an analysis of it that actually gets negative in that you get mm. to move from the positive to the negative end of your analysis right yeah now, as, as you were talking, I came to realize you had a lot of positivities with the word what than the why. Let's talk about the young teenagers or the young adults mm -hmm. who always based, based on the why question. Why are they telling me to do this? Why is he telling me to, uh, why is he instructing me to do such a thing, to do such a duty at my workplace? Why am I the one who always falls sick, you know? Isn't there anybody else? And then if you look at the what, what can I do to make things better? Yeah. What can I do to make my mom happy? What can I do to change this? Yes, what can I do to add value to the company progress? C can you el uh, elaborate more on the why and what? Yes, so uh, one good person, Brendan, I think Friedman Brendan, yeah. it's going to have said, you know, change is, uh, change is the beginning of awareness and then the acceptance of it is what actually creates the awareness. Yeah. So the first question as a teenager you would want to ask yourself is, where am I now? Mm -hmm. Where do I want to go? True. So when you try to write down, okay, this is where I am. So this is, what I want to, this is where I want to reach. Um, I think someone, there's a teacher taught, said, to the, said to us, I think that was in form two, way back. So told us, you know, you need to know where you came from, true. where you are now, where you want, yeah, you to, go, want to go, and how you want to get there. That's true. So I was like, I st it stuck in me, you know, way back in, that was early 2004, I bet. So it stuck with me, and that's, that's the principle I've been able to live with. Mm. So if you, you want to ask the question, why do they want me to get here? 
I think for someone, you know, self-awareness is in two ways. If I'm aware of myself, then I'll be able to be aware of another person. That's true. And I'll be able to help them and tell them, I think here you will not reach mm. where you want to go. That's true. If you take this path, you will get there. So that way, the person who's actually telling you, I think you should do this to get there, is actually, in the, Christ, in the Christian way, would say, loves you. Because he's able to guide you to make you reach where you're going. So the why question then could only be answered mm. by making you realize what really do you want to achieve in life. True. Because if you're able to understand the why and the what, the why will answer the what. The what. Yes, because really, if this is where you want That's to go, right? then the actions you are supposed to take mm. will have to fill in that. So mm. when I look at uh, John Maxwell, that's what he, in, in his um, 15 Invaluable Laws of Growth, mm. when you look at law of awareness, mm. there's uh, law number five, where it breaks it down. It's, it talks of uh, action. Action is the only difference that will you know, mm. create whether we reach where we want to go. Mm. Then the law of accountability. Now, when you get to realize that I am not self-aware, then you get to know this is where I want to where I want to go. Then you create the 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 the, the gaps, and then this is what I need to achieve. True. Now you'll be, you'll be forced to take actions. Mm. Now the actions will get you to be accountable. You could get friends within the company or out of the company who can hold you accountable to your actions. True. Good if it is your supervisor. True. Then the next step is you'll attract. Uh, <laughs> you know there's that saying of birds of the same feather. Together. Flock together. Mm. So if you're not self-aware, most likely your next friend is not self-aware. Yeah. <laughs> true. <laughs> but when you choose to true. grow yeah. and be self-aware, then someone will be keeping you in check. Mm. Now that person is also self-aware. Yeah. So will keep you in check and be like, okay, you, you said you were supposed to be doing this. You have not achieved it. You're supposed to have written this book. You have not achieved it. You're supposed to have submitted mm. a report on time. So mm. then that way you'll be like, okay. You're not, you know, we, we are our best enemies. Yeah. Though we tend to say, this person let me down, this person, but actually we. Mm. You know, they say, when you point this, the other, the other ones are pointing back, at, back you. at you. So yes. we, we are our own enemies. True. So for you to be self-aware and make progress, That's true. you have to be aware of who am I and where do I want to go. That's true. Yeah. So basic, going back, you drew, you drew a very big picture, a very good yeah. picture, mm -hmm. about the positive and the negative self-awareness. So I want you to take us to how should we grow in positive self-awareness? What should we do or what should a person do to mm -hmm. grow in positive self-awareness? The first thing is big mindfulness. Just do, be, be mindful of whatever you say, whatever you do, you know. Mm. Live in the moment. Like, <laughs> even now I'm, I'm, I'm trying to look through what have I said. <laughs> Maybe I made a mistake here. You can play back. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm trying to record it. So you live yes. in the moment, yeah. you know, because when you live in the moment, you, you, you will not miss anything. Yeah. But when you're not self-aware, you, you will not live in the moment until someone tells you, by the way, what you said was wrong. They're like, wait, what did I say? So then you start reflecting. Well, well, it, it, to me, it sounds like an idiom. <laughs> uh, live in my moment. Yeah. Uh, it sounds like an idiom. Okay, even to a person who's watching. Yeah, 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 yeah. Help me understand. How do I live in the moment? Live in the moment. Like, things happen to you. There are things yeah. you say, then there are things that are said to you. Mm. And uh, I would use the principle of uh, a 90-10 a principle. Yeah. 10% of things happen to you. The 90% is how you react. Oh, okay. You know? Mm. So living in the moment is live in the now because you see when 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 you live in the moment in the in the 90 percent and not in the 10 percent because in the 10 percent it's all about things happening to you, then you just how you react is the 90 percent which okay. is quite big yeah, now true. when i choose to live in the moment mm. every word i'm speaking out i am reflective of it mm. when i speak it out does it build someone does it grow someone does it help in any way or does it break or does it correct mm. you know I like to look at the Bible in that way. The Bible is there to correct, reprove, and all that. Mm. It's in the Bible, but then there are things that the Bible will hit you and be like, uh, this, is, this is me, you know, mm. this is me. Then there are things that are like, it embodies you, it, it empowers yeah. you. Yeah. Then the other aspect is um, journal. Journal. Like, I was coming here, but it is in this book. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I journal. I journal everything. I'm like, I'm going to speak this. Yeah, true. Just, yeah, you know? true. So journal every, every day of your life. Journal it up. What did you say? What didn't you not say well? 
how can you improve on it? So you reflect. With journaling, you know, it helps you to, to, to understand. And yeah. you know, next time you don't repeat the same errors or mistakes. True. True. And then the other aspect you need to, to, to be self-aware is uh, meditation. Meditation is very oh. key. You know? usually miss that. You know, every morning we wake up, we, yeah, I know, we, we go and we pray and thank God and follow. Mm. It's good. Mm. But have you taken time to reflect before you sleep, actually? I, I try to do that. It's very healthy. Health-wise, it's also healthy, but then it's also healthy to, to be aware. I you to teach me how to meditate. So you, yeah. Positive meditation, of course. Yeah, positive meditation. <laughs> I would have said yoga and so forth, but yeah. positive meditation. Yeah. You, you get time off, you, you, you sit back, mm. reflect on what went well and what went wrong. Oh, yeah. okay. Then whatever went wrong, Try to correct it in your mind. The mind is very powerful, mm, you know? True, true. So try to correct it. What should I have done better? How should I have done, how, what should I have said better? You know, with meditation, your mind will be, and also when you wake up, you, you try to meditate. Mm. This is how I would want my day to go like. Then you live in that, you know? It may not be the same as you meditated in, but then it will guide you and you'll be able to reflect, okay, 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 now this is it. So when you're going back again, find time away. Then Great time to self. You know, most times we want to be, I'm busy, 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 busy. Mm. But when you don't create time to self, you can't reflect. You can't reflect. Because you need to re reflection is one of the best ways for you to grow. Because you'll be able to learn what you said wrongly, or what you did wrongly, or what you should have done better, or where can I improve. So it's, it's, um, it's, a, it's, self, it's self, reflection gives you that self um, evaluation. True. Without having to hear it from someone else. Mm. But then now you, re you reflect on yourself and you're able to panel beat yourself and be like, yeah. okay, I should have done better, I should have done this. Yeah. Then the other key aspect I would have said is just, just try to create time for, for, for no. Read something. You know, if you want to grow, you have to read. Yeah, you have to read, too. You know, because you're not going to be self-aware without taking some self-development. You know? They would have said it's, um, I think they call it um, self-development what courses. And I would, I would take, the, there's a website that gives you, actually, you can go and fill in random questions. Yeah. Then you get those self-awareness, think16personalities.com, mm. does that for free. Okay. Well, you know, good. once mm. you log in there, you answer random 10, 20 questions, mm. then they send to mm. you your... Can you kindly re repeat that website uh, so we can the, get the... The website is www.16personalities.com. Okay. So it will give you a free personality test. Okay. And from that, you can build on... You mm. get to know who you are. I know my temperaments. Yes. <laughs> I know how I react. <laughs> yes. And I know when to take advantage of myself. Yes. So I, I, I did that. But I, luckily, I did it when it was being paid for. Mm. Or unlikely. But for now, it is free. So you're able to know who you are and where to grow. Then they will keep sending to you, you know, pers personal growth things you can do to improve. Because we are not 100% perfect. But if you that's want true. to be where you want to be, mm. then there's some growth pains i usually call it there's some steps of growth you have to take mm. for you to be able to move to where you want to okay. go yeah well that was life-changing uh, now our dear viewers self-awareness is a very key aspect it's powerful and it's comforting people who are more i've come to realize as you were speaking and it's the truth people who are more self-aware are more fulfilling yeah they are more engaged they communicate better right yeah and by the way people who are self-aware really lie and they really cheat yeah, because they because know who they are we know who you are <laughs> <laughs> no yes. one is defined here yeah well thank you so much our dear viewers that was mr ochor ochor ronald, ronald. Yes. and lepson as your host today thank you so much see you later see you in our next episode bye-bye bye-bye thank you